How you doing everybody? Nick DiVirgilio here, and today I have three super cool SJC snare drums, the Jam Can, the Slam Can, and the Thrash Can. Now check us out at Sweetwater.com to get more information on these drums, but for now, let's get Jam, Slam, and Thrashing. Now, if you've watched any of my videos, you've heard me say this a million times over. Drummers love to collect snare drums, and these are great drums to have as a side snare. I have them set up here, obviously, as a, as a fun little setup for this video, but usually, you would put a small 10-inch snare like this off to your side next to your main 14-inch snare to give you that just that extra sound, some extra fun groove things to do in your songs, live, in the studio, what have you. All three of these drums are exactly the same build. The only difference is the finish. They're all six by 10 inches, mahogany shells with 45 degree bearing edges. The jam can that I have right in front of me here is a brushed brass finish. The slam can that I have here on my left is a brushed nickel finish. And this one over here, the thrash can is super cool because it has, it's like the old school skateboard tape. Did you ride skateboards when you were a kid? Today or back in the day and you had to put on that grippy tape on the board so you didn't, you know, fall or slide off the board, well, that's what they finished this drum with. It feels like sandpapery, it looks great. All the drums have flat black hardware. They feel good, very easy to use, and they're cracky. Now, what I did here, I have three different drum heads on these drums. When you get the drum out of the box, you're gonna get a single ply coated head, like a G1, an Evans G1. There is an Evans G1 on the snare right in front of me here, the jam can. The slam can, though, I have a UV1, which is still a single ply head, but definitely has a different sound. And on the thrash can, I put a G2, so you have a double ply head. Now, I also tried to tune these drums all at the same pitch. So I'm gonna turn the snare wires off and let's see where the pitch is sitting with the drums. Pretty close, I mean, they're slightly off, but that has to do with the heads that are on the drums. Check it out again. The slam can with the UV-1 has a slightly lower pitch, but it's just slightly lower. Check it out one more time. Let me take a key, I'll try to bring it up just a tiny bit. Now, let me put the snare wires on and hear the pitch of the drums. All very close in pitch, but again, the heads do make a difference. Now, I say this all the time when I do my videos, please change up the drum heads that you have on your kit. Find the heads that suit you, your playing, and the sound you have in your head, whether that's a whole drum kit or your snare drums. This G1 is a fantastic head, it'll work every time, but feel free to change up the heads and find your sound. These drums are super fun to play. You might be asking yourself, what style of music would I use a little six by 10 can snare in? Any style of music. Again, this is a flavor adder. Does that make sense? You're adding flavor, sound flavor, to your drum kit, to your setup. So you could use your main snare for the groove, uh, your side snare for the chorus, vice versa, use the side snare for just the bridges of the songs, little flavors in between the main grooves. You know, if you play ska, drum and bass, any kind of EDM music, small little snares like this are perfect for that kind of stuff. But don't be afraid to put them in your rock setup. Give yourself more sounds, more sounds in your arsenal. Let me quickly get into the hardware features on these drums. Again, they're very simple drums, but very usable. 1.6 millimeter hoops, really nice looking lugs. 
an easy to use throw off strainer and butt plate, both sides, very just pull it on, pull it off. Snare wire tension's easily adjustable. You'll notice on all of these drums is a pre-installed tom mount. That's because you don't have to have these drums mounted on snare stands like I do. In fact, a lot of snare stands have a hard time holding small drums like this. The baskets don't get up to that 10 inch size that easily. So SJC made it easy for you to mount these drums in a different way, on a cymbal stand, any kind of tom stand like that. The L arm does not come with the drum, so make sure you talk to your Sweetwater sales engineer so you get the proper hardware to mount these drums. But sometimes it's more convenient to mount it on a cymbal stand or on your rack, somewhere else on your kit. Again, you don't—you can put the drum anywhere, not on your left side of your hi-hat. You could put it over on the right side of your drum, right in front of you, above you. You could put snare drums all around you. Wherever you want them mounted, you can mount them because you have the tom mount or put them on a snare stand, whatever you want. The options are yours. I wanna make sure you check out the text below this video because there's lots of other really great gear I have all around me here. The kick drum I have here is from SJC's Busker DeVille drum kit. Small, little drum kit, sounds great, easy to set up, goes great with this jam can snare drum. Beautiful Meinl cymbals, SE microphones, everything's going into Ableton Live through my Apollo. So if you wanna check out any of this gear, please do so. All right, everybody, the SJC line of can snare drums, the jam can, the slam can, and the thrash can. Killer drums, a lot of fun to play, very easy on the ears, super musical. If you want any more information about these drums or any other SJC product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click right here for more videos just like these, or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.